Here we have four solar hot water panels that are connected with a variety of piping. This is a slightly more complex system than most homeowners would use because it's designed for some experimentation at our university. But the basic concept is still the same. Water is in the hot water panels. The solar energy comes in, heats the hot water, and the piping carries the water between the panels and to a central storage tank, much like you'd have a hot water tank in your house. The water is circulated throughout the day and is continually heated. It continues to gain solar energy, continues to get hotter and hotter. The way the water moves through the pipe is in two different ways. In the first example, we're using solar PV panels to provide electricity to an electric pump which circulates the water into the tank, pulls the cooler water out of the tank, circulates it to the panel where it gets heated, goes back in the tank. So it's a circulating system. A second method called passive method is to elevate your storage tank and use the concept of simple physics the convection effect. Hot water will rise, cold water will sink. So our hot water will have a tendency to rise, be stored into the tank. We've got a separate connection that will bring the cooler, lower water back through the panels where they absorb the solar energy, the heat energy, get hot, go into the storage tank. And it completes a circulation so that it's continually heating. This can result in very efficient hot water heating during the day, and if you have good storage, that hot water will stay good well into the evening. Many people use a gas-fired hot water as backup in case they want to hot water late at night or very early in the morning, but throughout the day, this provides plenty of hot water for washing clothes, doing laundry, uh, taking showers, very efficient. Solar hot water is by far the most efficient, cost-effective method of solar energy. The payback period on a system like this can be as short as two to three years. In many parts of the world, this is very common, and it used to be very common in the United States. It's beginning to have a comeback because of the efficiency and the high cost of energy these days. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.